Your girl has been stressed and it is coming out in full force and zits on my chin. So today, though I may have had another plan for this video, I instead just wanted to um, center today's makeup around becoming stress-free in 2020. Ain't nobody need to see this stress. We are just gonna glam ourselves up and feel fabulous and get ready to take on the day because that is what we need on this fine day. So today we're covering zits. and covering zits and flaunting our bits. <laughs> the new tagline suggestions are being taken down below. Perfect. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Sephora. So all of the products that I'm going to be using to create our beautifying, stress-releasing glam makeup look can be found at Sephora on Sephora.com and in Sephora stores. And if you did not already know about their Beauty Insider program, I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can sign up to join the Beauty Insider program and get your hands on all of the perks. There are multiple different levels. There's a Beauty Insider, VIB, Rouge, all offering a multitude of perks prizes, free makeovers, events. You can redeem your points for many, many beautiful items. Some of my favorite products exist in the form of point perks, which is always very exciting. You spend money at Sephora, you get points per dollar, and then you can redeem them for beautiful products and they always change and there's always new fun things. So if you weren't already a member of the Sephora Beauty Insider program, I suggest that you do so and I will put a link down below for you to do so as well. So thank you so much to Sephora. Let us put some makeup on. This fast. So the first little pro so the first pro <laughs> so the first product that I'm going to be using is a recommendation from Vanessa, and this is actually a pre makeup step. I'm going to be putting on a tan, mixing it with my moisturizer. This is the Isle of Paradise Dark Self Tanning Drops. I probably should have purchased a medium, a lighter one, but I was getting really excited at the prospect of being tanned again. That's something I just always go to whenever I'm feeling down, feeling stressed, want to feel fabulous. If I put a tan on, that just like instantly boosts my mood. It instantly makes me feel like more alive. Like, look at this. I scratch my neck and I'm just, I'm just so white. Just everything shows. I need a little bit of a glow. So the thing that I like about this one and what Vanessa always speaks so highly of is you don't have to put it on separately. I was using the Bali Body Face Tan for a while and you have to put that on before a moisturizer, let it sit and soak in and then apply your product on top. But my skin gets so dry so instantly. I don't like waiting for that. So I like that these ones are added into your moisturizer. So we're going to do that. And I guess you'd most likely want to do this at night but it doesn't say a.m. or p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I'm gonna let this soak into my moisturizer and tan me while we're getting fabulous. It says one to 12 drops, depending on how tanned you wanna be, oh my God. This is so fun. My hands are gonna be so orange, aren't they? It says to wash your hands immediately after use. So, mm, it smells interesting. I'm gonna blend that in, take it down my neck as well. I probably should have put my necklaces on after, huh? And then I'm gonna let that sit and bake and hopefully we'll be nice and tanned. I'm gonna go wash my hands after. The finger puppets are washed. All right, our moisturizer is on. Let's get ready to go. Let's go into the foundation and the bases. Now I did this the other day and I had this little revelation. I was watching someone on Instagram. I have the brain of a fish. I cannot recall who I was watching, but they mixed their hydrating primer in with their foundation. They didn't apply them separately. They just mixed it all in one big concoction and applied that and I was like, I like making concoctions. That's my favorite thing to do. So I thought I would try that with foundation. I used two new products in this that I haven't previously used on my channel. So I do apologize for just springing these upon you, but I'm going to make a giant concoction of these three products. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, the NARS Glow Booster, which is new and I'm excited. And then this is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, which is also new. And Vanessa again was like, this is the best foundation I've ever used in my life. And I was like, I'm excited for that, ma'am. So I'm gonna do two pumps of primerizer, one pump of the, mm, two pumps of the glow booster, and also two pumps of the reboot foundation. And I'm just gonna mix that all in, in the palm of my hand and make like a lovely hydrating, glowing foundation moment. We're kind of just like making our own foundation here, which is very exciting. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers to optimize the maximum glowiness. And I'm just gonna cover up all of my woes and sins. <laughs> and hopefully by the end of this, we'll just be feeling so 
glowy and lovely. That is the foundation concoction applied. A lovely, lovely, very natural glowing base. And I also realized I haven't addressed the uh, the, the Pippi Longstocking in the room. <laughs> I'm trying to get some waves while I do my makeup and uh, I couldn't find my other black scrunchies, so here we are. For concealer, I'm gonna be using two NARS products, the Radiant Creamy Concealer as well as the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've got a lot of zits down here and I like to typically use the Soft Matte Concealer for zit covering. And then I'm just gonna take some of this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and place that underneath the eyes as well as on the forehead. I'm just gonna blend that out first with a brush. This is my MAC 170, 170 brush. And then I'm gonna take a little mini brush. This is the Sigma P84 brush, and I'm gonna dip that into the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and use this to attack the zits down below. Down below. I'm gonna dip into an old friend here, the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Such a great sculpting powder. And I'm gonna use this to chisel the schnitzel out of my chic bones. You just make us feel real snatched, you know? <laughs> and dipping into the Benefit Hula Bronzer to just beautifully intensify the warmth and glow all over our face. For highlight, I'm taking the Bare Minerals Free Highlighter. I haven't used this one in a while. And just use that to highlight. It's a little bit less intense, which will be a little bit more um, kind to the texture that's on my face right now. Just a nice little subtle glow. And then for blush, honestly, I wanted to really focus on um, some warmth in this look today just because I am just needing some sunshine in my life. So I wanted to dip into my orange blushes and I pulled these two powder blushes out. The Dior Coral Blush as well as NARS Luster. And now that I'm here, I think I'm just gonna use NARS Luster. It's a little bit deeper, not quite as bright. I feel like this one is for the warmer months, if you will, but this one can still, I, feel, I don't know, I feel like it has just a little bit of a deep gold feel to it, so you can still get away with it even though there's snow outside. You can wear whatever you want. Seasonality really does not matter. Go on with your bad self. I just also haven't used NARS Luster in such a long time, and I wanted to pull it out and do some warm blush. Oh, it is so pretty. It's such a pretty color. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I'll be back with you to do the rest of the eyes. Ooh. All right, the brows are on. The caterpillars have appeared. Let's move on to the eyes. I know that I said that I wasn't gonna be making any more palette purchases. However, however, <laughs> I was in Sephora the other day. I saw this palette and I've, I've seen a lot from the brand Lawless, but it's not been a brand that I've been very familiar with. And I saw this, the little one <laughs> palette the little one. And it really reminded me of my old beloved palette. It's actually very, very similar in look and style packaging. It's kind of ripped off, honestly, from Lorac, the Lorac Pro palette, which I used to love so much. And these kind of like had my perfect shades. There's so many palettes that have my perfect kind of like matte browns and dreamy things, but then they'll be missing like one or two things. Like a lot of palettes are missing a black, but this one has a black. It's got all the matte browns and then some golden shimmer ones here. I was like, oh, that's kind of a really great, very perfectly sized neutral palette for travel. So thought I would use it today while we're trying to get a little bit glammed. And uh, I'm gonna start with this shade, this lovely little mid-tone brown here. I love the size of this palette. It has the perfect mirror too, which is great. I'm just gonna be right up close here like this. Can you see me? <laughs> Let's start with this medium brown shade and I'm just gonna buff that all over the lid. I was just sitting here blending this being like, wow, I love this shade so much. And it's so close to Hoola, so close in shade to Hoola. <gasps> oh. Also gonna run that shade on the lower lash line. I'm gonna dip into this deeper brown here and just focus that on the outer outer edge of my lash line. I'm just building up the color here, dragging it along the lash line. Whoop. Just nice little flickety motions. I might just, mm, yeah, I might, I might connect that a little bit into the crease actually. 
These two shadows remind me of Nina Dobrev's makeup in The Vampire Diaries. Anytime they would zoom in onto Elena's face, she would always have this very, very like muted, but also somewhat substantial brown mixture on her eyelids. And there was always a little bit of a deeper brown on the lash line, but then it was smoked out into the crease. It was always so beautiful. And I was always very inspired by that look. And this little moment right here is kind of reminding me of that. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush, dip into the black just a little bit. I don't really wanna do a liner at all, a liner look. I just really wanna smudge that right into the outer corner of the lashes basically. And just so softly blend it into the brown. This brush is brilliant, by the way. Oh my God, this is the Smith 253. It is one of the softest, most fluffiest little brushes, but then it's got the point at the end, which allows you to kind of still flick it out, which is so ideal when you're doing these kind of smoked out shadow looks. It's really changed my life, truly. Okay, now I'm gonna take the tiniest little bit of this gold and just wash that right over the lid, I don't want it to be too substantial. I kind of liked the very matte look, but I am just gonna drag that across the lid and then into the inner corner like that. Just for a little touch of golden magic. I'm very pleased with how that blended out. Very, very pleased indeed. I'm going to apply mascara. I'm finished with the shadow, I think. Love, love how this little flickety flick turned out. A smoked flick. I've just decided that I wanna take this sweet little Smith pointy brush again and actually dip it into this deeper brown and just really lightly place that onto the lower lash line. I just wanna deepen it up a little bit. It felt like it was missing a little something something down there and I just wanna take the deeper brown and define that a little bit more. Kind of just like right in the center. I don't know, is that weird? I feel like it's gonna open my eyes up a little bit more. I also, I can't express this enough. I love these browns so much. Yeah, I like that deeper brown down there a lot more. I feel like it just kind of went with my eyes. Okay, love that palette. Really, really impressed with that. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna line my lips first. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Nudist, Nudity liner and use that to line my lips. Thank goodness there is no uh, cream contour under the lip mishap today. Some of you may have been watching my channel for a long time and if you have, I'm sorry, you've seen this a million times, but if you're new, then hello to the Shiseido Bamboo Lip Gel. Color Gel Lip Balm. Uh, one of my favorite nudie lip balms on the face of the planet. I'm just gonna apply that, kind of mix it into the lip liner. And I'm gonna leave the makeup there. I'm gonna pull out my little piggy tails. Hopefully we got some little wave in there. Not really, perfect. All right guys, that completes this look. A little sweet, soft glam for you on this fine day. As I mentioned before, all the products are available for purchase at Sephora and all of the products that I used on my face here, some new, some old, some very exciting things, will all be listed in the description box down below for your viewing and shopping pleasure. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!